Hello, and in this video, you learn the best way to create an advanced AI agent that can be integrated absolutely anywhere, be it Telegram, WhatsApp, Instagram, or on somebody's website. And the best part about it is, it's only going to take about five minutes. And so, without further ado, let's begin. All right, let's begin by going to landing landing.tixagents.ai and click get started today. As you can see, I'm already signed up, but you can just do that quickly yourself. It takes like 20 seconds, nothing difficult in that. And so we can continue by clicking new agent. Here we have two options for agents, dynamic or voice flow. In our case, dynamic will mean a single prompt for the entire agent, but the voice flow will mean setting up each block separately. Right now we'll cover only dynamic and in a future video we'll cover voice flow and nodes. So now let's disable nodes give this agent a name, so say webchain agent, and click create agent. And as you can see, we already have a basic agent running, and all of this is coming from the builder over here. We have the basic prompt, a system prompt, and an initial message, and some regulations for the AI model. Here we can choose out of the available AI models, as you can see, we have quite a lot and we even have a deep seek at this point. So let's select that for now. And now we can go back to design and see what we have here. As you can see, we have this cool carousel. First of all, let's cover the basics title. Obviously we can change this and this will change over here. Next description, your virtual assistant. We don't have to change this. This is at the bottom. For example, we can say powered by this is the text of the link. So we can say powered by web chain dev and the link could be well, we could change that later. Next, we can change the fonts, family, and the language. Also, we can add a background image to our agent, which is pretty cool. For example, we can click on this. Let's scroll a little bit down, click this. I'll just choose some random image. Click image completely visible. And as you can see, we have this background image. Next, we have different themes. So purple, cyan, red, yellow, pink, and we can also create a custom theme. And finally, we have some custom CSS if you ever need it. Now to the actual important part, which is the builder. Inside of the builder is essentially everything. As you can see, we've already selected DeepSeek and here we can change some things. First of all, we're going to remove all of this and simply write the phrase greet the user to build breeze include a youtube embed and let's add iframe over here youtube iframe embed to a build breeze video and finally include two buttons one saying explore features and the second one saying pricing just so this is all we need for the initial prompt and this should give us three elements a greeting message a youtube embed and two buttons to let the user know what we are doing. Next, we can improve on this part. Now, to save time, I'm simply going to paste this system prompt. I'll add it to the description down below. Simply copy it, change it how you like. This is simply a basic rundown of what it should do. In here, we're saying what it works for. We're telling it to run the carousels if it doesn't find images in the knowledge base to use these ones. Here, we're saying it to give buttons after each response to predict what the user might say to make the conversation flow more natural. And here we're giving some examples of set buttons. Next, we're telling it to prioritize YouTube embeds as it does help with the user interaction with the chatbot. Finally, we're giving some examples and some final notes to maintain a Spartan tone of voice, meaning a clear and concise tone of voice. And to respond in two sentences maximum, which is connected, we don't want the AI to rant. Also, something you should know the temperature if you don't know what temperature means is the lower it is the more direct it is the less creative it is so if you want an exact response you'll use a lower temperature if you want creative responses you'll use a high temperature and now that we're done here let's move to the next stage which is the knowledge base this tab holds all of our background information for example using this for product or a service this will allow our ai to actually know what we're talking about in here we can create a new source. Now, as you can see, there's three different types of sources. Creating a document right here, so a name and some text. Secondly, uploading a file, pretty straightforward. And finally, a URL, which we'll be using right now. For this, let's go to some websites. I'll go to this one. This is a SaaS I built in the past, never actually launched it, but it has some useful information that we can use over here. Let's copy the URL and paste it over here. Here we can paste a sitemap, but this is a one-page site, so there isn't any sitemap. Now let's add the URL 
and within maybe a minute, maybe less, it will scrape this website. As you can see, it's done it in only a few seconds. And in here, we'll have all the text from this website. Not in the best manner, but it's still readable enough for the AI. And so let's click save over here. And let's finally move back to the design page. And as you can see, it gave us a greeting. It gave us a video, which you can play right here. It's a video from my YouTube channel and we have some buttons. Let's say click explore features. Let's see what it gives us. It gave us some buttons and the carousel. Unfortunately, the images right now aren't working because there aren't any images they can take from the website, but you get the point. Next, we can say learn more about pricing. And it gives us two pricing plans. We could ask something as a proper message. For example, what is build the breeze? Just a general question. Also, just so you know, these things won't be visible in production. The actual user will only see the messages. And as you can see, it gave us a basic rundown. And so we're essentially done with this agent. There are lots of things we can do with this agent and continue being connected to different platforms. For example, WhatsApp, Messaging, Telegram, Instagram, Discord, and a voice chat. And we can also click deploy. And this will give us this code. You can copy and paste into your website. It doesn't work everywhere. For example, if you're using React, it won't work in this exact way. Simply give this code to ChatGPT, tell it to remake it for React, and it does that beautifully. It works for me every single time. You just do that, and you'll be completely fine. And I do believe this is it. And so, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.